My name is Rachel Dickinson. I'm here in Warwick Business School and I'm located in a group called WBS Create. I'm a principal teaching fellow, um, but I'm also undergraduate um, assistant dean. You know, in terms of my, my practice and you know, drama and theatre education over the years, much of my work today is, is influenced by the rehearsal room. I think it's, it's always that sense of you know, challenge in, in education that the furniture very much determines what the relationship is between you know, the, the student and the teacher. The lecture theatre here, everyone's forward facing, there's the lectern at the front, you know, the teacher, the academic holds that position of authority, they hold the gaze of um, their audience and they talk to, um, sometimes that feeling of talking at, um, whereas I'm very keen to disrupt that dynamic um, and, and disrupt in a way that um, enables or invites the student to become part of a dialogue. That, you know, that sense of, of, of drama and theatre education, it's prompted by questions that often generate more questions than they do answers, which is also you know, challenging for students at times because you know, we do live in a more transactional world where the expectation is that you have the answer somewhere um, and, and I need you to, you know, to share that. Um, so it does come as a surprise sometimes when you know, I say to students, you know, I, 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 I don't know. You know, I appreciate there's, there's times when that can be unsettling and uncertain, but the environment is designed that there may be, there may be different ways of coming at this that, that no one's yet thought of. Here in the business school, I might, for example, use classical literature, Shakespeare, for example, to look at um, aspects of leadership. A recent example is, is um, The Tempest and looking at the island as, as an organisation and the complexity of, of, of organisational life and culture and how the characters on the island experience that environment differently. So if we look at that in terms of organisational behaviour, for example, we can start to see that different people in different roles within the organisation will engage with it differently according to their role, their position, their viewpoint. Um, so it, it's, it's not that we're going to be looking at, at, at Shakespeare throughout the whole piece, but it allows that kind of critical distance. And sometimes within that kind of tradition or formula of being in the lecture theatre to bring students into our studio here and into the create space where it suddenly kind of opens up new possibilities of, a, of potentially looking at theory and practice. But we might also use more contemporary you know, examples. I've worked with a, um, a playwright taking a, a case, the VW case, um, and dramatising that scandal. It's part verbatim, part fictionalised, based on you know, material that's available in the, in the public domain. What it's looking to do is to give students an opportunity to step into the shoes of some of the decision makers, to look at it from a boardroom perspective, to be one of those engineers, you know, the team that created a device that was going to defeat or cheat the emissions system in the, in the States. I'm looking at different ways for um, for them to think about themselves, to think about the range of knowledge and experience that they already have when they arrive, and to not lose sight of that. It's very tempting when you begin on your undergraduate pathway to think that I have to kind of sacrifice now all of those other interests, those other aspects of myself, particularly my creative self, and to remind them that actually we can learn a lot by exploring ourselves from different perspectives. Um, so as much as we could from the CEO of a, you know, some corporate organisation, there, there's as much to be learned from somebody looking at the same material but with a different set of tools um, you know, and certainly you know, potentially a different language but you know, using that to kind of find you know, common ground really. So every day is a different day um, and depending on perhaps what the content is or what the objectives are of that particular module or that particular session, my role would be to look at it from a creative perspective that allows um, students to, to engage in different ways in their learning.